So, today's tip is going to be about cutting out your characters and why it's so important. So, today I'll be showing you guys two really simple methods to cut out your characters. Uh, the software I'll be using is Photoshop, but any software with, you know, a polygonal lasso tool or a pen tool is going to work just fine. So, let's get into it. So here we are in Photoshop and I have two characters as you can see, one of which is cut out correctly and one is done incorrectly. So what you'll notice is around the one that's done incorrectly, we have this really unappealing outer edge. This is just when we don't cut out the character correctly and we accidentally cut out a part of the background. So normally it's not this extreme, but for the sake of, you know, demonstration, I made it like this just to show you guys how bad it can actually look it's very important to have a character like this we have clean edges and it's perfectly cut out so in today's tip i'm gonna be showing you how to achieve this exactly so we're here in photoshop with our character ready to be cut out right so the way you do this is actually really easy so we're just gonna select the layer and then in our tools bar we're gonna select either the polygonal lasso tool right or the pen tool uh, both of them work pretty much the same, but I personally prefer the polygonal lasso tool, right? So we're going to zoom in here and we're pretty much just going to click on one of the corners of the character, right? We're going to go over to the next one, click again, and we're going to repeat this process for the entire character, right? Now, something very important to mention here, if you want really clean edges, is that you're always going to want to select one or two pixels inside the edge of the character. So instead of selecting like this, right, we're gonna instead be selecting like this, right? So this just ensures that we don't accidentally select a part of the background, especially when we have like some diagonal parts. So that's why we select, you know, one or two pixels in inside the edge of the character. And for the most part, no one is really going to notice if there's, you know, one or two pixels missing from the edge. So just keep doing this around your entire character. All right. So now that you're done selecting the entire character, we can simply come over here and press this button. So this basically creates a layer mask and boom, your character is completely cut out. And if we zoom in, you'll notice we don't have any, you know, weird parts of the background stuck with the character. Uh, and as long as you didn't accidentally go outside the edge, uh, this is completely fine. And, you know, here's your cutout character. Now, I'll be showing you a much easier method of doing this. And that's by using a shader pack created by Celtop called White Entities Mask. When you're taking your screenshots, it's available on Modern, so you can easily add it to your thumbnail profile. Uh, simply enable the shaders in game and take a screenshot of your character. So you should be left with a screenshot that looks something like this. And what you'll notice is this pretty much just makes the character completely white with a perfect mask, making it super easy for you to cut it out, right? So now you can use any quick method of selection to select this. So for instance, we can use the magic wand tool, you know, turn the tolerance up a bit and select it. Now that it's completely selected, we can move on to the next step. And what you'll notice is that since it's completely black, it's perfectly selected it. So this is the method that I personally use because it's a lot quicker and you get super, super accurate edges as you can see here. So once we've selected this, we can hide this layer, go to this layer and once again, click on the layer mask button and boom, our character is cut out. And when we compare the results from method one and method two, you'll see that method two actually gives us a slightly thicker character since we aren't sacrificing any amount of pixels. Whereas in method one, we may be sacrificing, you know, one or two pixels around the edge. So there you have it. These are the two easiest methods for cutting out your characters. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the tip and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.